the fact that Israel continues to, <clears throat> excuse me, be caught up in the world. We're still in slavery. Our enemies are rolling up over us. Okay, we're catching hell left and right everywhere we go, no matter what we do. You know? So it's better to come to the house in the morning. And we're, we're mourning for what? We're mourning for salvation, we're mourning for uh, redemption. And everybody that's in this, this basically this joyous spirit, the Lord is coming to bring that to an end. All right? With, 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 with great judgment, man. With great judgment. <clears throat> Lord's got a lot of weapons in his arsenal to punch the two thirds in these other nations. Okay, we're not we're not in the time to be settled and laid back, going Christmas shopping. All right. We're not we're not to be part of it. Right? It says it is better. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to heart in his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for, this, for by the sadness of the countenance the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. Mm. That again? The heart of the wise is in the heart of sorry, the heart of the wise the is in the house of The heart of the wise, mourning. okay, when you actually do know something spiritually. Okay, not what you think you know. Read that again. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. It's in the house of mourning. All right? Because why? Look, this is what's getting ready to come to America, all right? Two thirds are gonna be destroyed by, by this main sword, all right? This is the main sword that's gonna consume two thirds and consume all of America. It's thermonuclear missiles, all right? But before that, we know that martial law is gonna come into effect. Them stormtroopers are gonna be shooting you, killing you, torturing you, poisoning you, all right? So the heart of the wise is in the house of the morning, man. And we're mourning for what? All the atrocities that are going on in America, man. What the? It's like it from that from that from the from the you know from the air that you breathe to the food that you eat, it's all poison, it's all toxic. E everything, man. This fucking concrete is a curse. In fact I gotta wake up so goddamn fucking early to go to work is a curse, man. That I can't get a uh, 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 more than a ten minutes of a peace of mind is a curse. That's another thing our people don't understand, man. The curses, we are under curses. And until the uh, establishment of the kingdom comes, until the destruction of America comes, we're not ever gonna be at rest. Our enemies gotta fall, America gotta be destroyed, man. Well, the other guys don't believe that. Guys oh yeah, because they, 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 they teach you prosperity, they teach you to basically get with the program. If you can't beat them, join them. Well, we're not about that, all right? We're not, we're not joining, wait a minute, what does the scripture say about those that join onto the wicked? The same are gonna be thrust through, thrust through, destroyed. All right? No matter how much you fucking try to get down with the society, you're never gonna have peace of mind, right? And it's not supposed to be like that. That should basically make a trigger go off in your mind, saying something ain't right. Yeah, and what ain't right is Esau, the so-called white man, is a damn devil that the Bible speaks of, and the Most High is getting ready to destroy his empire known as America. He's getting ready to deliver the elect. So you need to get the street. You need to get it now. You need to understand the, the, the difference between uh, uh, the actual Gentiles and Israelite foreigners. You gotta understand that the Lord separated all people. He has a chosen and a beloved, which is his nation of Israel. Okay, and then he don't have a, a care in the world for the other nations and they're gonna be our future slaves. Just like we had to serve slavery underneath all the other nations, they're gonna have to serve slavery underneath us. For eternity. For eternity. Like it's all right now. 
And you gotta you gotta understand the difference between you know Greek mythology right. and the hell fighters in the Bible. Yeah, you gotta, two different things. Yeah, you gotta put everything in, the, in its proper perspective. All right. And, 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 and don't come up here with that crazy nonsense of oh, well, that's a private interpretation, right? There's no such thing as a private interpretation, right? That's why you gotta research and study. You gotta look into words. You gotta find out the meaning of words. And you gotta put everything in its proper perspective. He said the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of the of fools is in the house of mirth. Con, the, the house of fools, read that again. But the house of fools is in the house of mirth. Is in the house of mirth. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> but the heart of, of fools oh, is con. in the house of mirth. Yeah. <laughs> read that again. But the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Yeah, meaning your mindset is basically uh, uh, being in this joyous spirit, carefree spirit. Now, the Lord already gave you examples of the time of Noah. Gave you examples in the time of Sodom. Now, them, they didn't have a care in the world. They weren't thinking about the Lord. They didn't think that it was going to rain. All right? They, they, they basically blew it off. So, that's how society is today. All right? I'm talking about two-thirds. When two-thirds come walking by, they basically blow us off. Just like they did during the time of Noah. Just like they did during the time of Sodom. All right? And the Lord showed you examples. What was going to happen to this kingdom? And what happened, or excuse me, what happened to those kingdoms that live ungodly? So this is the most ungodly kingdoms of all. All right? So, but they don't teach you that. They don't teach you. Huh. They, don't, they don't teach you that. But why would the, if the Lord basically allows you to do what, what you wanted, why would the Lord out of his own mouth give you the examples of uh, past events that happened to ungodly kingdoms that were overthrown, man. So, by that alone, you should know America's going down, right? Yes, it is better to hear the rebuke, the rebuke of the wise. Yeah, first of all, because when we re rebuke you, we're doing it for your own good, your own benefit. All right? We're doing it out of, out of, out of the sake of love, so you can, uh, Lord willing, receive our deliverance. You know, but you got to work out your own salvation. you, you got to take on the responsibility if you feel that the Lord may be calling you. But once you put your foot through that door, man, you gotta stay committed to it. And the scriptures tell you it's better for you not to know than to know. And then to go back into the, that them same lust that you were doing before you knew the truth, man. Those are gonna ba basically double your consequence. Alright? Your death is gonna be that much more uh, 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 severe. Yeah, it's better, it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fool. Because when we come out and we teach you, you this prophet through the words of the prophets, man. All right? You can come come out uh, 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 actually knowing something when we, when we teach you the scriptures. Wait a minute. Uh, what's the scripture? Uh, the truth shall set you free. Yeah, it comes. Free from what? Free from all the lies that you've been taught. There's, there's another precept that I was thinking of, but I, it escaped my mind. But, but that, that, that's, that's, that's one. All right, so there's, there's something that you can gain out of doing the work, man. That's deliverance. That's protection from, from, from Esau. When, Martin, when all hell breaks loose, man, the only defense that you're going to have is the things that you learn. That's why the Lord said what? Do I say it? That knowledge shall be a stability. That, that the name, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, that's what's going to get us through day to day. That's how we're going to get provided with food, water, and shelter. Two thirds ain't going to be able to, I mean, they, they don't even got a, uh, uh, a, a good mental state, man. So, so when all hell breaks loose, okay, and Esau fucking is 
blood in the streets. Yeah, martial law troops. They're gonna fucking really lose it, man. Two thirds is already gone, but they're gonna really lose it when all hell breaks loose. You know, so we need, we need to remain, remain true. We gotta remain faithful. We gotta, we gotta uh, continue to rehearse. These, these people ain't dang rehearsing nothing. Yeah, man. They got they doing, they're doing their last minute Christmas shopping. I see Macy bags, Old Navy bags. Yeah, con. I mean, these people are fucking gone. All right. They, they not, they not read. A lot of people, they, 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 I noticed they're looking at us and some of them are smiling. They don't even know what to say. A lot of you were condemned. They think we're out here caroling or something. No, well, they thought that day we'd come up to a place with money. Yeah, I appreciate it. They'd be giving us money. <laughs> Verse 7, surely your oppressor make a wise man mad. Yeah, and we're still being oppressed, man. All right? We're, we're still being oppressed. All right? We're being oppressed by our fucking women, our children. Our demons, our, our jobs, Satan. yeah, the spiritual demons, Satan, spiritual demons that fuck with your head, that make shit just go wrong one thing after another, after another, after another. Seems like you can't get a little bit of a break or a peace of mind. Alright, that's why we need this truth, man. When you, when you are of a broken and contrite spirit, the only thing that makes you feel better is knowing the truth, is knowing that America is getting ready to be destroyed, knowing that deliverance is gonna come. Knowing that, be, having that uh, a, a spirit of endurance and, and strength, having the brotherhood is gonna pay off, man. It really is. The Lord ain't gonna see our works and, and, and let it go unnoticed. All right, that, there, that, that there's a release and relief in, in all this. Man. That that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting upon the Lord. That's the spirit you gotta be in. All right. And a gift destroyed the heart. Uh, and a gift destroyed the heart. All right. So yeah, the most popular holiday is Christmas. Christmas. Why? Because yeah. you get gifts. All right. Fucking Chelsea. Chelsea Yeah, come on. This is uh going back to what he was saying. Uh, this is Second Ezra chapter two verse eight. And every people walked after their own will, and did wonderful things before thee, and despised thy commandments. And again, in process of time, thou brought the flood upon these that dwelt in the world, and destroyed them. And it came to pass in every of them that as death was to Adam, so was the flood to these. Nevertheless, one of them thou leftest, namely Noah, with his household of whom came all righteous men. And it happened that when they that dwelt upon the earth began to multiply, and had gotten them many children, and were a great people, they began again to be more ungodly than the first. Now when they lived so wickedly before thee, thou didst choose thee a man from among thee, whose name was Abraham, him thou lovest, and unto him only thou sh showest thy will. Yeah, because uh, Abraham had who? Isaac. Yeah, it goes on to say that. Through Isaac you had Jacob, and Jacob had what? The uh, 12 sons who became the progenitor of the 12 tribes in the nation of Israel. So, the law was given to Israel, so you gotta keep the law. So, the hell with Christmas, the hell with getting gifts, the hell with giving gifts. Alright? Well, this is a gift. Con, yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, mercy and faith is a gift, right? Again, from the hour by shit, how we shine, man. So this is exactly like the brother just said it perfectly. This is the gift, man. This is the only gift that you need to receive, man. 